In the second half of the 19th century, many glass firms used experimental techniques to create decorative art glass. In 1878, the Mount Washington Glass Company introduced Sicilian glass. As part of their marketing, the company claimed to have used lava, that is, molten rock spewed out by volcanoes, as one of the raw ingredients. A pellet of white glass is attached to the end of a blowpipe and melted. To the tip of the white glass is added a small amount of molten transparent violet glass. This is then pressed over the end of the white glass to completely cover it. After significant reheating, the marver is used to smooth the glass and then the glass is inflated to form a very thin-walled bubble. This is then pulled free of the blowpipe and broken into shards. Shards of three different colors are arranged on the marver. A thick bubble of black glass thinly coated with colorless is rolled over the shards. They instantly heat and stick to the larger mass of glass. Reheating and marvering are used to make perfectly flush the surface of the glass. After reheating, the glass is inflated while a tool is used to elongate the bubble. The end is trimmed and a neck or constriction is formed near the blowpipe. It's at this constriction that the bubble will be separated from the blowpipe later in the process. The profile of the vessel is formed and the foot is created. The glass is transferred to the punty. The end is reheated to allow the opening to be formed. The jacks are used to form a tubular upper part of the structure. After the tubular part of the structure has been cooled and the shoulder of the bulbous part has been reheated, the sofietta is used to reshape the shoulder of the vessel. The rim is reheated and the jacks are used to give the vessel its final shape. The vessel is then placed into the annealing oven for slow cooling.
The cooled vessel is decorated with a suspension of gold in a solution of water and gum arabic and painted on. After the liquid dries, the vessel is placed into a kiln and fired to a temperature of about 950 degrees to make permanent the gold decoration.